Hi, this is Cecil. Today I will going to show you on how to create survey form or attendance through Google Forms using my cell phone. Yes, po, pwede pong gamitin ng ating cell phone. So first, click your Chrome. Click natin dito, i-type ang Google. ito ang itsura ng google i-click natin yung tatlong dot dito sa upper and then click natin yung desktop site check yung box so ito yung itsura ng ating google kapag siya ay naka desktop site Zoom natin. May makikita kayo sa gilid on the wrapper, on the upper na may tatlong ay may siyang na dot. Click natin ito and then This is the icon of the Google. Hanapin natin si Forms. Ayun, yung color violet, click natin siya. Browser kasi po ang gamit ko. So, that's it. Ayan. Uh, Magka-create na tayo ng attendance or survey form. Um, for example, research. Attendance. So, that's the title. And then, pwede tayo mag-add ng description. Answer it correctly may na tayo maglagay ng design so next is untitled question click natin um, maglagay na tayo email address sila ay nire-require ko na maglagay ng email address kasi for teachers pwede din naman pong hindi maglagay ng email address so, short answer. And then, sa baba, we have here, copy, delete, and required. So, click natin yung required. Ayan. To add another, click this uh, positive sign here. At the lower. Ayan. Um, name. Surname, first name, middle initial. So, required natin ulit. Click ulit yung positive sign to make another one. Grade level. So, multiple choice. Select po natin yung multiple, multiple choice para pagpipilian. Kinder. Then, click add other. Uh, grade 1. Grade 2. grade 3 and so on so almost done so ito na yung pagpipilian ng grade level required then click positive sign again section so hindi na siya multiple choice Kasi iba-iba tayo ng section or iba-iba kami ang section. So, I will select short answer. So, para i-type na lang. Required again. And then. 
So, yan. Magka-create na tayo o maglalagay na tayo ng background. So, klinik ko yung paint dito sa may taas. So, parang paint. Click. And then, choose your theme color. So, favorite ko ang sky blue. So, I will select sky blue. Depende sa inyo kanong color na gusto nyo. And then, makikita nyo dito, choose image. Yan, mag-choose tayo ng image related doon sa uh, ginawa natin. So, we have here, work and school, illustrations, birthday, food, and dining party. Yan, iba-ibang pictures ang mga nandyan. So, I will select here, work and school. So, related doon sa ginawa ko, research. So, books. Yan. Insert. Yan. And for our color, background color ng ating attendance, so I choose pink. So, let us see. So, this is the result. Oh, yan. Naging pink na. And then, meron na akong header background. So, after that, um, susunod dun sa paint, meron tayong triangle. Ay, tatlong dot muna. So, click natin that, tatlong dot. Then, settings. And then, i-check natin yung collect, collect email addresses. Response receipts. Yan. And then, click natin dito sa baba yung C summary charts and text responses. Para makita natin. And then, click natin yung punta tayo sa my presentation. So, ayan. Nag-check na yung show link to submit another response. Para pag sumagot sila, makikita nyo yung response nila. So, save. Check, ay, i-click natin yung save. And then, um, punta na tayo dito sa my triangle. Ayan. So, we can send it through email and we can see here yung link din. Kung gusto natin i-copy yung link, pindutin natin to. So, i-copy natin click natin yung copy that one and then ito po yung isasend natin sa ating mga uh, sasagot ng ating form so after that go back na tayo Punta tayo ulit sa settings at i-save natin. Okay, so that's it. Ayan. Pwede na natin siyang i- uh, i- i-share sa ating mga sasagot. So, makikita natin here yung mga nag-response. So, wala pang response dahil hindi ko pa po na-share. So, that's it. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.